15 Facts Everyone Should Know About Depression While the definition of major depression may seem simple enough, depression has intense and varying effects. Here are some surprising facts you might not know about depression. 1. Depression has various triggers. The causes of depression are not thoroughly understood, but it is believed that the best explanation for it is that it is probably caused by a combination of factors, such as an underlying genetic tendency towards the condition, and certain environmental factors that can act as triggers. People have a higher risk of depression if they have experienced a stressful event recently, if they have had depression in the past, or if a close family member has been depressed. Sometimes, depression develops without any obvious cause. 2. Genetic factors contribute to the risk of developing depression. The genetic predisposition to depression is becoming better understood and might explain why one person becomes depressed and another doesn't. A family history of depression matters, but it's definitely not the only factor. For example, identical twins, siblings who have exactly the same genes, will both develop depression only about 30% of the time according to the National Alliance on Mental Illness. 3. Physical Effects of Depression Headache, stomach problems, shortness of breath, and general physical tension can all be symptoms of depression. 4. Depression is linked to other health problems. People with chronic conditions like diabetes, heart disease, and multiple sclerosis may also have a higher risk of depression. 5. Depressed people might not look depressed. Depression is a hidden illness. Some people can seem upbeat and cheerful, but inside they are struggling with the symptoms of depression. 6. Exercise helps manage depression. Exercise and other physical activities can help improve mood state. Exercise helps stimulate natural compounds in the body that can make you feel better. Aim for at least 30 minutes of physical activity most days. According to experts, people with depression should exercise, develop a healthy diet, and go to bed at a regular time. 7. More than one antidepressant medication may be needed. Most people with depression don't get relief from their first or second antidepressant. People who take a second medication without relief are considered to have treatment-resistant depression. For some depressed people, the physiology of their brain means that certain antidepressant medications won't work to treat depression or must be used in combination with other medications to achieve and maintain relief. 8. Therapy is also needed. Sometimes antidepressant medications will be used first to alleviate depression enough for therapy to be helpful, but psychotherapy, cognitive behavioral therapy, or other therapeutic strategies like transcranial magnetic stimulation, are also necessary for effective treatment of depression. Nine, warming up could help. People who are depressed may have an altered thermal regulatory system. Exposure to heat may have potential as a sort of antidepressant, says Charles Raison, M.D., professor of psychiatry at the School of Medicine and Public Health, University of Wisconsin-Madison. More research is needed, but hot yoga, a warm bath or shower, saunas, and hot tubs are affordable ways to try this for yourself. 10. Depression is a leading cause of disability. The World Health Organization considers depression to be a leading cause of disability worldwide. People routinely say that depression is the worst thing that's happened to them. And the reason that's offered is that their brains don't work properly. They can't make decisions and they are not sure of themselves, everything requires huge mental effort. 11. Depression impacts work productivity. Depression, left untreated, may have a significant impact on work performance. It contributes to presenteeism or employees at work but not engaged. And absenteeism, or employees missing days of work. It may also adversely impact multiple areas of employee performance, including decision making, time management, completing physical tasks, social interactions, and communication. 12. Children are not immune to depression. There's a myth that childhood is always a joyful, carefree time in our lives. While children don't experience the same problems that adults do, this doesn't mean that they can't become depressed. Childhood brings its own unique set of stressors like bullying and the struggle for peer acceptance. 13. Depression doesn't always have a good reason. Sometimes, people become depressed for what seems like a good reason, maybe they lost their job or a close friend passed away, but with clinical depression, there doesn't necessarily have to be a reason for how you feel. The chemicals in the brain that are responsible for mood control may be out of balance causing you to feel bad even though everything in your life is going well. 
14. Depression can be treated. There are numerous effective treatment options available for depression, including medications and psychotherapy. In addition, there are new treatments being developed that are proving to be effective in cases where other treatments have failed. While your treatment should be tailored to best suit your symptoms and overall health, a combination of medication, psychotherapy, and lifestyle changes is often used to help alleviate symptoms. 15. Untreated depression is the most common cause of suicide. The proper diagnosis and treatment of depression is very important in preventing suicides. According to the National Alliance on Mental Illness, 45% of those who commit suicide are suffering from some sort of mental illness. And this includes people with undiagnosed, untreated, or undertreated depression. There you have it. I hope you liked this video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe now.